Everybody else want to be the guy. Right. They want to be the big guy in the room. They want to run the show. You want to learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pharrell called me right now. Louis Vuitton and say, hey, I need you to get the coffees every morning. I'm going to have the coffees. Yeah? You going to do it? I'm a, why not? Pharrell quote him now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pharrell. Of course. What's going on, y'all? I'm Mia Bell, and here we are with another episode of BET Talks featuring rapper, music executive, art connoisseur, the flyest of the gods. He goes by the name of West Side Gun. How you feeling? Beautiful, man. I'm super blessed. Yes, you are. Thank with you. the best energy. Hope you as well, know as well. Thank you very yeah. much. I couldn't wait to get in today to talk to you because I love your energy. I love everything that you're about and this project. Yeah. And then you prayed for me. The most highly anticipated, I feel. Because once you made the announcement, everybody yeah. went crazy. Yeah, I had I had to make the announcement because, you know, people knew it was coming out. They just didn't know when. And I was getting so much, like, it's, it's like hate mail and love at the same time. Because, right. like, where, where's the album? Where is it? Like, they was going crazy. You know, the... the uh, the DMs I was just reading was just like super crazy. So mm -hmm. I was like, y'all at least got to give them a date. But once I gave them the date, I just started tacking and we're here now. Right. Sure. Now, yeah. I'm sure the album was made long before you gave the date, no? Walk me through the process of curating everything because when I tell you yeah. the, the high-end garments, you feel it. Yeah. You hear it. <laughs> you see it. You see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um... I started off the album during Fashion Week in January, okay. you know what I'm saying, in Paris, you know what I mean? Mm. So um, I just took the energy and I, I never came back to the States. I went to, you know, Germany, I went to Athens, Greece, I went to Santorini, Greece, I went mm. to uh, Denmark, I went to, you know, London, yeah. um, Dubai, Egypt, you know mm. what I'm saying? like just different places because, you know, I don't, I, I inspire myself, you know mm. what I'm saying? Because I just like to learn, right? you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, so it, it's just, I just move so different. It's like, I, I always say too, like, you know, in order to take over the world, you got to see it first, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm self-taught in everything, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really never taught me how to run a label or, Nobody never taught me how to pick out fabrics. Nobody never taught me nothing. I'm, I'm self-taught. And, um, you know, this album right here was just pure energy. I just curated it different because I was just in a different space. Right. You know, I recorded the whole thing overseas, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know, I'm in Atlanta or I'm in Buffalo or I'm in L.A. It's like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm literally you know, making LL Bull Gun, you know, staring at the Acropolis and, you know what I'm saying, and Athens, Greece, like literally, like my hotel suite was outside the Acropolis, so. Wow. I, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm looking dead at it. So it's like, it was just a different kind of energy this time around. Of course, godly. We sure. hear it right. in everything that you do and the yeah. features. I feel like the features surprised a lot of people. <laughs> the production surprised a lot of people. Correct. But like you said, you were in a different space. Correct. And that's why we got all of that, right? Correct. You know, it's uh, it was different fashion weeks. It was different parties. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It was just different vibes I was in. Right. And um, that's why people, this album sounds different from every other album because the way I made it. Right. So you know, what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? I'm literally like staying at five-star hotels. I'm eating five-star restaurants in different countries I've never different. been to. So I'm, it's just different. <laughs> you see, I'm wearing a ponytail right now. Like Love the it. energy is just different. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and it's just like, you know, sad to say, people don't like to see people happy mm. and enjoying life. They want you in a box. They want you to be feel like them. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, even when I get hate comments, it's like, you're only hating because you're not there. Right. Because if you was going to the pyramids in Egypt, you wouldn't even have time to hate. Exactly, because you'd be so happy and <laughs> Your energy would be on a zillion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like you know, it, it doesn't make sense to me. And um, the way I do my art is just the way I do my art. You have to accept it 
or you just don't. It's just like, you know, it is what it is because you, you have so many people that love West Side Gun. Mm -hmm. And then you got so many people that don't understand it and hate West Side Gun. Right. And it's, it's, not, and, for them and it's not for them, but I will hope one day they get educated enough to understand it, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? It might not be now, maybe just one day. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's just like some people don't want education. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by, like, I'm self-taught. Like, I want to learn. I'm a student. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the smallest in the room, not the biggest. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else want to be the guy. Right. They want to be the big guy in the room. They want to run the show. You want to learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Pharrell call me right now at Louis Vuitton and say, hey, I need you to get the coffees every morning. I'm going to have the coffees. Yeah? You going to do wanna, it? I'm a, why not? Pharrell quote him now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For real. Of course. Nah, you know, that's the homie, but yeah. yeah, no, seriously, because like I say, um, I'm a student, man, and, and I don't know everything, you know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. you know, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm always searching, I'm always learning, I'm always building, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I'm just a different kind of guy, man. I worked harder than everybody I know, like, I'm from Eastside Buffalo, never had the opportunity to walk into an office with an album. Right. Never had an opportunity to have somebody make it from your neighborhood that we could look up to. Yeah. We never had nothing. We, the only thing we know is what we literally just see every day. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. And you created that for yourself in for so sure. many ways. And, you know, prior to them cutting the cameras on, we were talking, I asked you, who long lived Michelle was, because mm -hmm. I thought you were talking about Basquiat, sure. Jean-Michel Basquiat, do your research. Yeah. But um, you were talking about your aunt who raised mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to kind of go back and bring up that love and the feelings that, mm -hmm. you know, kind of cultivated who you are now and that reason why you're this risk taker who was able yeah. to create this label and come out of Buffalo and, you know, really put your feet on the ground. Well, you know, growing up, you know, I don't want, want it to sound typical, but you know, it's the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, my mom was young. My mom had me at like 16, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So she was still a kid, still running the streets. Right. Which, you know, really leave me more with my aunt Michelle, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Which probably at the time she was probably 11, 10. So, you know, I'm at the crib with her, you know what I'm saying? And, my grandma was really the overseer because now she's still even watching my mom. You right, see what I'm right. saying? Cause, so it's just like my grandma raised me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because she was raising all of us at the same time. Of course. So even though my mom is my mom, you know, my mom is also like a sister. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just like my grandma was I running the village. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, you know, my Aunt Michelle, I was the closest to okay. just because, again, you know, she watching me and, you know what I'm saying, she come home from school and holding me down because, you know, at this time now my mom, she running the streets now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now mm -hmm. she, you know, at age and even though I'm, you know, three, four years old, she only 19, 20. Still you know going. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like, and then that's when like, you know, Eastside Buffalo is just, you know, it was the crack era, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know, I, experienced all of that, you know what I mean? First hand, you know, seeing that. So when all this was going on, Michelle was the cool kid in school where okay. everybody know her, she's super lit mm -hmm. for them days. You know what I mean? So like hip hop always been in me since coming home and she loves salt and pepper. Right. Or she loved Run DMC or she loves Slick Rick mm -hmm. or you know what I'm saying? I remember all that. I remember damn Cool Mo D versus LL. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> because that was what was lit at the time. So, you know, Shell was in it. You mm. know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I've been through all the stages of, you know, hip hop and because of Michelle. You know right. what I'm saying? I learned early because she was a kid and hip and, and extra cool. So, she, you know, when she got her, you know, job and she started making money, I'm like her son, nephew, little brother all in Everything. one. Everything. So you know how it is. She super cool. I'm hanging out with her on the weekends. She gonna make sure I get the Jordans. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it started off as like her just want me to be fly when I'm with her. And I'm like her, you know, little brother. You right. know what I'm saying? And um, 
the fly just, you know, built from there. It was just like I he started super early. You know, people, I, I have an album named Fly God. If you see the cover, mm -hmm. I had on three chains, you know what I'm saying? But like, that's from a real picture when I was seven years old, really wearing three chains. Right. So I was like introduced to the flyness. From super young. Early. If I'm wearing three chains at seven years old. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Like, where can you go from there? That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It's always, it's always level up. We see up. it right it's now. Always, so like, even right now in my life, mm -hmm. I'm just consistently trying to level up. Right. Level up, level up, level up. And people don't get that. Right. People want you in a box. People want you with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I still love them people. You know what I'm saying? But I want y'all to understand my message instead of just hating it. Don't act like you don't get it. Right. I need you to get exactly what I'm doing. Because if you've been a fan this whole time of me, you know where I'm trying to take it for all of us. You know right. what I'm saying? Of course. And it's yeah. in them too. They just got to realize exactly. it. That's exactly. 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 And, and like I said, you know, I was just in a moment with this album. It's a lot of things I'm talking about. If you've never been in Paris, you wouldn't even understand it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. naming things. I'm saying things and naming places. And you not even going to get it. It's gibberish. It's another language because you you really don't even know what I'm talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? But like the album is kind of like boom bap, but mixed with a certain era. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's mixed with a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, you know, like that's why you have the Ross. That's why you have the Jeezy. Right. That's why you have the DJ drama. That's why you have the Trapaholic. That's yeah. why you have the DJ Holiday. That's why you have the Swamp Izzo. Mm -hmm. This is a certain part of my life that I, I, I miss, I enjoy, that made me who I am today. Um, because that was like the trap dope boy era. You right. know what I'm saying? The West Side Gun. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, I vividly remember when those albums was coming out. You know what I'm saying? When Gucci was on the DJ Holiday and the Trap Holica. Just all of those moments, like I vividly just remember where I was at in my life. And even when I was incarcerated, I was incarcerated in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So my radio station every Saturday was DJ Drama, Gangsta Grill. Wow. You know what I'm, saying? I'm listening to, yeah. you see what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. of these things. So it's just like, that's just a part of me too. Right. You see what I'm saying? But I just gave you a certain sound for a decade straight. I worked my way up. I did what I did because that's still me. That is mm -hmm. me. Because I could turn around and make the illest boom bap album tomorrow and give it to you next week. Right. This was just made in Athens, mm -hmm. Greece, not Athens, Georgia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Greece, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this was this was this was made in London. This was made in Paris. After me going probably spending twenty, thirty thousand shopping. And right. I came back and sipping, you know what I'm saying, wine and hey, you know what I'm saying, put the beat on. <laughs> it's a different it's a just a different vibe. Of course. I mean? So and the way you infuse other artists like Jid, who I oh, love, of top of the album. Started off with that. Gigs. Who else? Ty Dolla Sign. Who would have thought Ty Dolla Sign would be on a West Side Gun <laughs> album? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm moving it to another direction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and you know, Ty Dolla Sign. You know, I, when I met him, it was just like, when we gonna do something? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I felt like this was just the perfect time. Um, just because of the energy. Right. And again, me going to these fashion shows, me going to these parties, me traveling the world, seeing different culture. I see beautiful women everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Of even though the song is is, is is super vulgar. Very. But that's me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, hey, if you don't like it, don't like it. Right, but right. you know what I mean? I'm gonna give it to you raw. It's like, hey. Oh, did any of these artists that are featured on the project record with you in Paris or in any of these countries that you um, were visiting at the yeah, time? Yeah, um, Denzel Curry. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We did that in Paris. Um, J.I.D., we did that in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Really? Yeah. Um, and you feel the energy, too. So when you said course. that, I'm like, they must have them flew out or something. <laughs> yeah, because it was Fashion Week at one time. Mm -hmm. And then... um you know, festival season. So, you know, yes. you might catch somebody at a festival, I'll link up or they'll come out. Like, it was just love, you know what I mean? Gigs, you know, just, like when I'm in London, I record at Gig Studio. Wow. Yeah, like mm -hmm. gigs, red carpet when I come to London. Anything I need in London, you got I, it. as soon as I land, yo, gigs. And it's, it's on from there because 
you know, that's that's my brother in this too. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like, you know, a lot of people when you turn the camera off, don't really like be close as you think, you know what I'm saying? But like, it's a lot of people that I'm really, really close to in this industry. Like, you know what I mean? That's like, they were mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? I always get their opinion and, you know, I just got a certain list of like, just, you know, I feel like tastemakers and just more like me, like gigs is like me to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, Hove, you know what I mean? Like, it's certain J Electronica. Yeah, who did you let listen to first where you're like, yo, what you think? Or is it even a what you think Gigs. conversation? Is it just, this is what it is? Yeah. Gigs. <laughs> Gigs heard it first. Okay. And he loved it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He loved it. Like, he was like, yo, bro. This, you know this is the classic. You know what I mean? You know, Gigs just give you that smile and, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Start pointing like, you know, this is it. And we got us a banger on there, you know what I'm saying? Just, mm-hmm. um, the disgusting record, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like I said, it's just the energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that, you know what I'm saying? Because I really was working, I yeah. was focused. I really didn't do a lot this year. I really was to myself. Like I said, I was really inspiring myself. I was really like... Curating the perfect album. Just kind of figuring out, you know, uh, just even the future, because I like to stay like 10 steps ahead. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I was working on an album, but I was working on 24 and 25. You know what I'm saying? Already, like, what else is this going to lead up to? Like, I already know what I'm about to do next. What is it going to lead up to? You know, you got to see it. So beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Really? It's so beautiful. I feel it, though. It's I so do. beautiful because I'm, I'm in a new space. Right. You actually going to see way more West Side Gun now than ever. You of People seeing it more now than ever. People, you know, for years, you know. Um, I feel like this album is only scratching the surface, though. No, nah, yeah, this is... That's what it's doing. Mm-hmm. You know, Benny was out there. He was more on the scene. Conway was more on the scene. Of course. Um, and you know, they did their thing. I kind of more played the cut. You know what I'm saying? Um, I really didn't do focus on album rollouts. I didn't care. Right. I never made an album in my life for <laughs> sales. I right. never set up here in my life and was like, I need to hold off until a certain date or I need to I make the album on Tuesday. I'm trying to drop it Friday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's done. I right, went Friday. Let's go. Right. Like, I, because it's just like I want the energy then. Mm. Soon the the last song literally was made that week. You know what I'm saying? Really? Like, I be wanting albums to come out. My whole career been like that. Mm. I've never took him longer than two weeks to ever drop something after the last song was done. Right. Because you're not in your mm. head about it, and it's not about what yeah. everyone thinks. It's just drop it push it for a little bit and off to the next. You know what I mean? I never really shot videos. I never really do tours. Mm. All the things that your traditional artists do, I don't do. Right. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because even when people try to pay me for a feature, and it's not from the heart, I won't take the money. Right. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't care who the name is. I don't care about the money. It's just like, yo, if I hear it and it's not me, I'm not about to sit up here and struggle to make somebody else track better. Because mm-hmm. every time I hear the track, it's going to bother me or I just <laughs> would never listen to the track again. But what's the point of doing it if, if I have to go that far? Right. You know what I mean, if, it, if it's a song out there, I can't even hear myself. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? Why would, did I even do it? So, like, coming into this game, like I said, I always was hungry, but I was never thirsty. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Never. Like, I always did it my way. My whole career, I did it my way. I still do it my way. And um, a lot of people can't say that. Right. You know what I mean? A lot of people not comfortable in their own skin. A lot of people old. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? They Mm -hmm. just, you know, they not themselves. You know what I mean? They putting on the image. They want to be tough. They want to be this. They want to be that. Like, you know, just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's what life about. People can't respect somebody if they're not even themselves. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? So that's why I don't be on the scene because it'd be corny a lot of times. I'm mm-hmm. be honest. It's, it's, so I really don't like even being on the scene. I don't go to the industry parties like that. I don't... People don't see West Side Gun like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I can't be there. I don't want to be there. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You're making a choice. Yeah. I'd rather go sit front row at wrestling. Oh, yeah. Of course. That's you all the way. (laughs) Man, I didn't. 
skip every award show and you could possibly think of to be sitting at wrestling because it's always the same day mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah. so i don't it's it's i have to do what i have to do for me and but this is why i am who i am now mm -hmm. i seen on twitter mm -hmm. A lot of people are saying it ain't no West Side Gun album unless West Side Pootie is on there, mm -hmm. reminding people how broke they are. <laughs> For sure. And that's facts. What does it mean to you to be able to share that and <laughs> just to be able to have that in the archives too? So when she yeah. gets older, she can listen. Yeah. No, West, West Side Pootie a legend. Of course. You know, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know when, I said, when I named all those places and I was riding a camel, you know, looking at the pyramids. Pootie was looking at the pyramids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, even my daughter that's, you know, two years old, and the first thing you hear on the whole album, you know, super fly guy. Yeah. Like, she trying to say it. Mm -hmm. She two years old, but she could sit up there, and she definitely could point to the Eiffel and be like, that's the Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. at two. Like, right. that's what I do it for. Like, you know, that's that's what bring me happiness in this. You know what I mean? And just West Side Pootie, she been there my whole career. Since, mm -hmm. I, since when I started, you know what I'm saying? In, in 2012, 2013, she was born in 2013, January. Yeah. Like right off the, you know what I mean, rip. My first mixtape was only out like two months. Mm -hmm. So she been there literally my whole entire career up to now. Yeah, beautiful. She's super that. hip hop. That's what I'm saying. The same way I was with Michelle, mm -hmm. she's under my wing growing up in this. Like having a dad, like West Side Gun, like your whole life is being with West Side Gun. Right. Like you can imagine what she's going to be. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and, but you, you know, the things she's already seen and, you know, uh, honor stool in and she, she's everything that, you know, uh, 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 Cause I'm a proud father, you know what I'm saying? But she's everything, you know, a, a parent would want, you know what I'm saying? That's you know, thanks to TikTok, I'm lit in her school too, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Because all these little, you know, people make the little uh, videos of like my voice mm -hmm. and try to make fun of me or with the ad libs and all that. So, you know, that, right. that, you know, that spread with the kids. Them things be getting millions of views. Mm -hmm. So I'm known just from jokes, you know what I'm saying? Like they might not even know the, the music, but they right. know that, you know what I mean? They know it's the just, energy. Yeah, it, it's it. just it's just super dope, you know what I'm saying? It's just, um, you know, for the most part, man, you know, I'm just loving life and I'm taking care of my family and I'm just showing, like, even the underground heads, like, that I, I, I do this for us. Yeah. Like, don't you, like, if y'all don't get that by now, like I say, y'all must don't get me because, again, a, I've been going like this, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? They 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 don't like that. So it gets to the point where it's like it's like the Mayweather. It's like people watch Mayweather to lose, not mm -hmm. win. You know what I'm saying? And he just gonna keep it's like, giving it. It's stuff. like, you know what I mean? Right. I, I want y'all to see me. Like now before I used to hide, but it's like I want y'all to see me now because I'm motivation, I'm inspirational. I'm not trying to be like, I'm really just being myself, but I'm humble, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, I, I love God and, I, and I, I'm a community guy, I'm a family guy. I, take, I still take Pootie to school. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I like, believe it. I'm a dad, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'll show y'all, like, this is what a man supposed to be. This is what a real one's supposed to be. This is a man who live with morals and principles. This is a man who take care of his mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I want people to see me, you know what I'm saying? And you know, man, I, I pray to be heard, man, cause y'all gotta hear me, man. It's, 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 cause if y'all really listen to what I'm saying, it'll change your life. Absolutely. It, it, it'll change your life. And we're grateful to see you. Thank we're you. grateful to hear you. The album is a classic. Thank we you. can't wait to see what you do next. Yes. West Side yes. Gun, y'all. BT Talks. Ooh.